The key role of the foundation is catalyzing new ideas. We've helped to establish groundbreaking programs like the International Road Assessment Program, like Global NCAP. We're working at the cutting edge of work on safe schools. What IRAP is really trying to help do is make sure that these countries that are developing very fast don't make the same mistakes that developed countries made in the past. That we leapfrog ahead, that we don't learn the hard lessons that many countries have learnt over time. That we make sure roads have got footpaths, um, pedestrian crossings, bicycle lanes, safe intersections. That we build those into new designs immediately. We don't wait until something goes wrong and then come back to try and fix it later. It is the first time that uh, independent crash tests are being run and performed on uh, Indian vehicles, in the latest uh, models, and also the very popular, very important ones. We have found very dramatic results overall. Uh, we have found in the five models that we have tested, three of them showed big problems in the structure of the car, actually the surviving area, surviving cell of the vehicle. Even if you put airbags they usually don't protect him properly, the passengers. After the crash, it's quite hard to get in, open the doors and uh, remove the passengers without hurting them any further. So for these two uh, situations, it's quite dramatic what we have seen today. Well, this really is a critical period. The decisions that are made over the weeks and months ahead about these key international goals on sustainability on development will frame our aspirations for a whole generation and that's why it's so critical that we get road safety and road traffic injuries onto that agenda. So this is something that we are working very very hard to us. That's why we need to see the actions taken now so there will be results. It is our duty because this is the leading killer of our children today, of our young adults. How can we let this go on? I think at the heart of the energy efficiency agenda when it comes to transport and vehicles is to try and reduce fuel consumption by bringing together under the global fuel economy the initiative governments, vehicle manufacturers but also the consumer in terms of their choice. We can make a major impact on fuel efficiency across the world. Improving fuel economy doesn't just save you trillions of dollars, dollars which are often much more needed in health services, in education services. The fuel economy links to health, it links to the economy, it links to saving resources, it helps with energy security, and we will be pursuing that work through the UN processes. There will be no policy forum that we will not attempt to push the issue of fuel economy in because, putting it in its simplest terms, we have the technology, now we need the policy. How do we make our communities safe beginning with the roads. Because the roads at the end of the day are what links communities. Everyone has to travel by road somewhere. And therefore, it, it is like breathing the air. It is around you the whole time and part of your life. It's, a, it's really uh, unbearable that we are losing uh, lives or lives of kids even uh, because we don't apply basic uh, principles of road safety. And I think that uh, the cost-benefit analysis is so clear. There's 2,600 kids that die every year in Thailand uh, because of road accidents and they are not wearing helmets. So, and 70,000 plus who are disabled. So it's a critical issue. It's one where we want to, in Thailand, show that this is possible. All the foundation's safety programs are about delivering solutions and getting the data to support those solutions so that we can take them to scale and save as many lives as possible. Like the helmets work we're doing here in Thailand, the aim is to make the intervention as effective and measurable as possible so that we can encourage governments, other philanthropies, other donors to come on board and work with us to save kids' lives and to make roads safe. Our goal is that by the end of these three years, at least 60% of children in Thailand are wearing helmets. And we feel if we can achieve this goal in three years, that we will have saved 2,000 children's lives and prevented 50,000 from serious head injury. When we are campaigning uh, for children to wear helmets, it sounds very good. 
But the thing is that we need to do it. We need to take action. You know, we don't just give our helmets. We, we follow up with extracurricular activities in school. We will always come back and, and follow up. The children have the right to come and go from school safely. So that is a basic right that, uh, that we all of us have to recognize. One of the great strengths that the Foundation can draw on is that we have close connections with the FIA and with its membership of automobile clubs around the world. So using this strong network, harnessing the combined strength that we have and the voice that they have, I think the Foundation can have much greater impact and reach than if we were operating on our own. Road accident has to be taken among the priority of the governments. So my strongest wish will be to have each single Evo state putting on top of his list of his program road safety. So as we unpack what everybody else... These are complicated issues. You need actually action from government. You need action from lots of different players, um, lots of principals, lots of agents. And so, for example, it's terribly important that we have organizations um, like the FIA Foundation, for example, good organizations that are moving things forward. I think too often when we think about development efforts, we think about very costly, very large scale operations. But the fact is, on issue after issue, uh, the things you can do are very low cost, whether it's very inexpensive vaccines that can save so many lives, and let's add to uh, that category uh, dealing with road safety issues. Now, one of the greatest lessons that my grandfather taught me was that, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, uh, that you have the power in you to make a difference in somebody else's life. And I think to join the, the fight, so let me say, against road death and, and to protect our kids and to show them the simple ways that we can, as a community, as one voice, try and protect our kids.